You know, and I want to make an. Can I make an observation? What's up? You're very handsome. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate no, you're a very handsome man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is Fort Ord here on uh, Monterey Bay. Um, Fort Ord was opened in 1917 as a army post, and at the time, it was a very uh, desirable uh, place to be uh, stationed at. I guess a lo lot of the uh, soldiers wanted to be stationed here, and I can see why. You know, it's a beautiful area close to the ocean. But um, Fort Ord closed in 1994, but a small portion of it is still used as a military base. And um, right off there in the, um, in the distance, you can see there's the uh, DOD building. That's where uh, Department of Defense has their offices. And uh, we got this uh, raggedy looking sign. Wow, that's really... Uh... And then uh, looking down here on the ground, we got uh, this raggedy sign that's probably been laying here for the past uh, 20 years. Wow. Well, we got uh, another raggedy sign. Well, I mean, I guess this one doesn't look as raggedy as uh, the one we saw lying on the ground. I mean, that one's obviously seen better days. And you know, I gotta, I gotta say that this is actually uh, one of the, um, this is one of the most uh, rundown uh, military uh, installations I've, I've ever uh, visited. I mean, this place is just really. Look at all. Look at the grass is all dry, and there's overgrowth. I don't know. This is, this is like, um, I get a, I get a really weird uh, vibe being here at this place, like. It's almost as if I'm in some kind of like post-apocalyptic world. Like maybe there's uh, zombies here. Maybe there's zombies that are gonna come out of the bushes and take a bite out of me. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this. Looks like we got uh, signs of life here. Looks like we got a, a soldier here reporting for duty or I don't know, maybe he's uh, heading to the, uh, the base uh, cocktail lounge. You know, maybe he just uh, got off punishment detail for not uh, cleaning his uh, barracks. And maybe he had to do uh, 150 push-ups. And now he's going to go uh, have himself a nice stiff drink. I know, I, could, uh, I sure could go for a stiff drink. But then again, uh, I can always go for a stiff drink, as most of you guys know. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, I think we got a handsome alert. I think this is the uh, the first uh, handsome alert of the audit. Wow. Look at him. Ooh. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what he's packing. Four. Maybe uh, he's getting ready to go... Uh, go out on a on a drill or something I wouldn't mind uh, having a margarita with him he's a mighty handsome fellow as uh, most of you probably can figure from watching uh, these audits I've done uh, I kind of have a kind of have a thing for uh, men in uniform I guess you could say I have a fetish for men in uniform I got a fetish for a lot of things uh, looks like uh, this is where they keep the uh, high-tech military vehicles. Although some of those, some of them don't look uh, all that high-tech to me. But then, you know, what do I know? I'm just a silly auditor. But uh, appears to me like we got some Humvees over there, and I don't know. Since this place seems so dead, you know, maybe, you know, instead of uh, using it to store uh, military vehicles, maybe they could open up a Tesla dealership here. You know, maybe they could, uh, you know, sell uh, Teslas here in the Monterey Bay, although uh, Monterey is a pretty ritzy community, but they already have a Tesla dealership. Don't they, Elon? <laughs> wow, looks like we got a, a row of uh, decommissioned police vehicles. 
Looks like uh, looks like we got some old uh, Crown Vickies with the old uh, light bars on top. You don't see too many of those anymore. And ah, oh, looks like we got the Blues Mobile right there. I don't know what they're they're gonna do with all these. Maybe they're gonna maybe they can donate them to uh, Jay Leno's garage. You know, Jay Leno can do a a thing about uh, retired military uh, police vehicles. I don't know. What do you say about that, Jay? <laughs> well, this looks like this is the uh, new and improved fleet right over here. We got some, definitely some more uh, modern looking uh, police vehicles. I would think that uh, our military would be able to afford to, uh, you know, upgrade their fleet and drive some more uh, flashier police cars than some of the ones I saw earlier. Some of those old uh, Crown Vickies are pretty, pretty run down, and that's why they've retired them. Look at this. I mean, even their their uh, police station is kind of is all run down, and this is probably one of the most raggedy police stations I've ever seen. This is actually one of the most uh, raggedy uh, military uh, bases I've I've ever seen. I mean, if uh, leaders from another foreign country were to come and tour this place, I think they'd probably be quite uh, shocked at what they see. Although, uh, I don't know, they probably wouldn't uh, give anybody a, a tour of this base. They'd probably take them to Vandenberg or, or whatnot. Hi. Why are you guys taking? Who are you guys with? We're just doing a little video. Of. Of the, of the base. Of the base. Yeah. Okay. Do you have permission from the garrison command to take uh, video and photos? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, you okay. have to have permission because this is a federal property. You have to have permission by the garrison commander. You know where where where, where would we get that permission from the garrison commander? commander. The DLI. Yeah. For, permission for what though? To take photos of the of the of any federal property. What law is it? I'm just curious. It's federal law. It's 9/11. It came out from Obama uh, when. Uh, when come uh, on, 9/11 happened quite a while ago. And the laws came out. You can't take pictures no. of any. All There's right. No expectation. I'm not going to you guys. Public. You guys can either go and talk to the commander, get it taken. I know you're doing this just to get me riled up. No, you're no, no, no. But you guys you. can't take pictures of the federal installations. Well, so you I do what you got to do, brother. You, I told you guys by, by law. Federal law, you can't do it. No, that's not true. Okay. Actually, DHS memo uh, from uh, All right, well, why don't you go ahead and give me the memo and let me look at it. You, it's not my job to do your job. You so you. much, Stevie. You know it's more than I do. It's not my job to do your job. I'm doing my job. My job is to make sure you guys don't take pictures. Hey, and you're doing it. You're getting get, rolled up, and you just said you're not going to get rolled up. up. This is who I am. I, I come in peace. Doing this you don't need to get rolled up, sir. All right, you guys are welcome. Have a good day. We can call the deputy garrison commander. He can come down and talk to you guys hey, personally. Love it. Yeah, love that's it. fine. Yeah. Okay. Good, what, no what are your names? Uh, so okay. I'm guy with the camera number one. Good to meet you. Okay. You know, no shake hands. Do you have ID no? on you so we can tell them exactly who to yeah, call? Yeah, that was the camera. Well, I don't have a number to call you. No, no, no. we're gonna wait for him. No, he's not coming down today. Oh. He'll, he'll call you. Well, tell you what, give me his email and we'll, we'll reach out to him. You can get it on the. You can go to the DLI and get it. DLI. It's under, it's you under have the website command. Just go to the DLI. You DLI, have a computer? Like DLI.com like, DLI like, or? Like the Defense Language Institute, and it'll, and it'll come up. Gotcha. Okay. Any well, other questions? Yeah, what, what do we do until then? Cause, I mean, I'm not going to stop. See you guys. All right, take care, brother. Right. Hey, we're coming in peace. Have a good day. All right, we'll go on. You're, you're dismissed. Mm, well, damn that's it. That's how it works, guys. Wow. I thought we couldn't record here. It's funny, you know, last time Jeez. I came here. They didn't make such a big issue, but they do have that blue line gang flag around the side. I don't know if it's still there, but last time I... Well, he asked for your name, but he didn't yeah. ask for my name. I mean, I didn't get a chance to tell him I'm Parker Osmond. I, I was just going to tell you were guy number two. That's my fault. You know, where's my manner? I did not introduce uh, you. I think I'm guy number 69. <laughs> All right, we got CHP on the scene. All right. All right. Huh, that's strange. I thought for sure they were going to roll up on us. Maybe not. Oh, here's another one. There they go. There's those ripper snappers with the cameras. All right. 
All right, let's see. Uh, let's see if they want to party. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Do you don't mind me asking what you're doing here today? Huh? Do you don't mind me asking what you're doing today? Just doing a little video about the base. Okay. Yeah. Did they call you guys? Uh, I just got called in. It's potentially suspicious activity. I think it's mostly because you guys' bases are covered. But. Oh, okay. No problem. Do I don't wanna... think Sacramento has any issues with a couple guys with cameras. I'm sorry, what did you say? I don't think Sacramento has any issues with a couple guys with cameras. Oh, no problem at all. No. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I want to put your emergency lights on if you're going to... No, he's behind me with him. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to be with the CHP. Okay. I've met you before. You came into our office a couple of times. Really? What office? Which one? The CHP Monterey area office, I believe. Monterey. But... I didn't even know you guys had one in Monterey. <laughs> it's, I think, more... Like, right... like a subdivision? Like a subunit? Or... More about the county than... Gotcha. So. Other than that, uh, please don't use the street other than crosswalks just be safe i don't want you guys to get hit by a car or anything like that yeah, i've been crossing but. the street for a long time but i appreciate the concern though yeah, yeah. No, i just don't want anybody to get hit by a car or anything like that Definitely. i don't want to get hit by a car either i already got a bad bath other than that be safe we got called you got an incident number by any chance maybe your business card i don't have business cards maybe i didn't an get any card if you could write your uh, bat your badge in your name for me i'd appreciate it my name's officer alameda i'm with the california Highway patrol my id number is one nine five two nine got it what's this uh, the first the first name initial letter uh, S is in Sam. Sam is out. Okay. Which, which, are you out of uh, Aptos? Are you out of uh, over like San Martin or, or all the way from Sacramento? Or No, our office is located in Salinas. Right. Okay. Yeah. I just got one quick question. I know you got to go, but no. is it because, is this is it, is this National Guard? Because I know like if it's National Guard, they use if any kind of state building, don't they normally call CHP? So it depends on the nature of the call. Okay. So I can't really narrow that down because it depends on the call. We got the call, radio dispatches to us, so we happen to be in the area, that's why we swung by. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Honestly, when, I, when I saw you, I was kind of shocked. I thought it would be, would be more like, if anything, like a, the sheriff department or something. No, we have a, we have different interjurisdictional contracts, so it just depends on what agency takes for what and who's closest. Do you have and an incident number by any chance, too? There's no incident number for this because it's not a report for this. Call number? Just, it's call just number? call the service. I can give you our log number. Do you yeah. want the long format or the... Whatever, whatever you guys use as a reference to this call. So, the long format is going to be the year, day, or year, month, day. So okay. it's 23-06-01. Okay. MY for Monterey area. Gotcha. The log number is going to be 00225. Gotcha. And I'm just curious, um, I, I know I, you just got to do your job and come out when yeah, you Yeah, no problem. Um, was it the actual... Uh, the procedure that called, or was it the National Guard down the street? I saw you guys pulling the parking lot down there. I don't know exactly who called. I didn't look through the caller information. Yeah. Our dispatch received a call. So uh -huh. I don't even know if it was our dispatch or Monterey Communications dispatch, but my dispatch broadcast it. Gotcha. So we get a call to service, we respond to a call to service. Okay. Gotcha. No, I can understand, like, if they were calling, you know, like, you coming out, but I just think it would be odd if the procedure, the actual MPs called when they're... I mean, they can do their thing too, I would imagine. Yeah, and if you guys keep walking around, at some point they may talk to you as well. But we just want to make sure everybody's here to be safe. Yeah, they, uh, that's why I asked if it was CHP because I know like National Guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, well, yeah, I know it's CHP, but I know like National Guard and like state buildings don't normally, if there's incidences, it's like, like if there's an incident at the DMV, wouldn't it be like CHP? I know there's tree branches and limbs and everything like that. There's what's left of sidewalk. It's just been a while since it's got any attention I think <laughs> yeah why you, you guys are walking around just be careful please just I don't want anybody getting hit by a car or anything like that there's a lot of wild animals out here I used to live in this area so just be careful rattlesnakes well, I remember I've been here in the because, before and I've actually seen like coyotes and uh, well, yeah. I heard them I heard them like, I've seen them out online only once it was a little one a lot but of deer mostly, there are a lot of rattlesnakes out here as well oh, yeah. which you wouldn't expect here it's more of a desert animal yeah. you think but so they are out here so just be here. careful yeah. And please don't stand on the street. I really appreciate it. All right. Well, you guys have a good, safe day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As well. All right. Uh, yeah, so can I my own public and stuff. And I, the paper that I write down, I have confidential stuff on there. Yeah, he's very specific. So. <laughs> That's okay. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't. Who can I talk to to get you guys business cards? Uh, so that would be some of our D numbers. Yeah. A 
business card would be something that like a detective would have to hand out. But unfortunately, business cards have been misused too to say, hey, I know somebody oh, okay. to try to bring access. Sense. So I'm well, more than happy to give you my name. Even, like the, even the Ruby Cop people have like business cards. Yeah. 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 The only people who run the business cards are people that work uh, like a, a specialized duty. Like, I used to be an accident investigation okay. review officer, so I did have business cards when I was in that position. Is that, that is the, know. like, the DMV investigators, are they a part of the CHP too, or is that... Because I know DMV has their own, like, state investigators that handle, like, fraud cases and stuff. That would be above my pay grade. I don't have, a, I don't have an exact answer for that. Oh, okay. All right. That would be something I would ask the Department of Motor Vehicles specifically. Oh, okay. Because I, I don't want to give you the wrong answer. I, unfortunately, I don't know the exact right answer, so I don't want to comment on that. Yeah, so. that's, that's the thing about, like, California. There's so many different, like, you know, different law oh, enforcement like, agencies for different, you know, like... You know, like the Capitol Police, or wait a minute, you guys handle like the Capitol, don't you too? Or, or security for the governor? There's a lot. There's okay. A lot yeah, I know. Jobs within this other than just patrol. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm just patrolling. I'm more than happy with that. Aspect. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, we appreciate you guys being professional and and, and so forth. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one. All right, thank you. Take care. All right, folks. Definitely give the uh, the CHP a pass. They did a good job. I've had mostly positive interactions with them. Uh, so yeah, they definitely called. You know, I'm gonna guess it's probably the. Uh, I bet the um, the Presidio police, the uh, the base cops, they probably called the CHP. Kind of reminds me of when I audited the uh, the Beverly Hills Courthouse. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department actually called the Beverly Hills Police on me. So, like, it's a, a case of uh, call cops call the cops on a photographer.